Hello Year 2. This week our spellings um, are all words that end in the letter Y and they make the I sound. Once you've practiced these, see if you can think of any more um, and obviously like normal, have a go at putting them into some sentences for me. In maths we've been working on adding and subtracting two digit numbers. We've started using the column method to do this. Your home learning this week is just going to focus on addition um, rather than confusing ourselves by doing too much in one piece of home learning, we're just going to do addition as our focus this week. Um, I'm going to show you two methods that we've learned. One is addition with no regrouping. Uh, really, really simple, adding the ones, adding the tens to get our total. And then um, a slightly trickier way where um, we add two digits, but the ones cross over the tens and we need to do a little bit of regrouping. Um, on your home learning sheet there will be examples of both types of methods that I want you to have a go at using. Please remember you can use objects, um, sticks and stones for tens and ones, um, anything that you can find around the house to actually um, make your number before writing it down. You don't have to just do it in your head. Okay so as you can see here I've got um, my first number is three tens and two ones which is 32. And my second number is three tens and four ones, which is 34. Now, we're always going to start by adding the ones first. So I know that two add four is six. And then I'm going to add my tens. And I know that three and three is six, but I need to remember that it's actually 30 and 30, and that represents 60. So my answer then is 66. And I can write this as a number sentence. 32 add 34 equals 66. Okay, now I've got uh, one ten and five ones, so that's 15. Two tens and four ones is 24. Five and four is nine, and then 10 and 20 is 30. So my answer is 39. That's 15 add 24 equals 39. Okay, the last one then with no regrouping. We've got four tens and three ones is 43. Two tens and five ones is 25. 3 and 5, if you count them all up, that's 8. 4 and 2, or 40 and 20, is 16. So my answer is 68. 43 add 25 equals 68. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at adding two digit numbers, but this time we need to do a little bit of regrouping. That involves exchanging some of our 1s for 10s, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that um, by writing it in our column method as well. So again, we're going to start by adding the ones first, and we know that six and six is 12. Um, to make it easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange or regroup uh, 10 of the ones, and I'm going to turn it into one 10, which we've done lots of practice of in school. There we go, so it's moved over. And as you can see, there's a little red number one that I've added to the tens column. Now, I know that that actually means 10 rather than one. So now, as you can see in my tens column, I've got four tens. And in my ones column, I've got two ones. So if you have a look at the column addition, uh, you can see that we've done two, um, which is 20, add one, which is actually 10, which is 30. And then I've remembered to add that extra 10 on at the end, which is 40. And then we've got our two ones. So 26 add 16 is 42. OK, so let's try it again. This time we've got 27 add 25. Now, again, 7 and 5 makes 12. So I'm going to move 10 of those ones over into my tens column and I'm going to turn it into one ten because this is going to make it easier for me when I'm going to add them together. Now you can see that I've actually got five tens and two ones. And in my column addition, I have got two add two or 20 add 20. And then I'm going to remember to add that extra one on at the end, which is actually a 10. So that equals 5 or 50. So 27 add 25 is 52. OK, so finally, this time we've got four tens and eight ones. So 48 add 23. Eight add three is 11. Uh, again, this is more than 10, so I'm going to take 10 of those ones and turn them into one 10 and move them over. Now you can see that I've got seven 10s and one 1. 
So in my column addition, I had four tens. I then had two tens, which is 60. And I'm going to remember to add that extra 10 on, which is 70. So my answer is 71. So 48 add 23 is 71.